What's going on guys? Um, this one's a sad one. This one's a sad one. There's no easy way to say this, but this is the last video on this channel. Battle Universe. Um, Battle Universe. I just, it's so hard to say. I don't, <laughs> don't want to say it. Battle Universe is canceled. Um, it's just, man. This video, it looks long and it's not just a video of me talking. There are so many people that are still a part of this video right now that, you know, you're gonna get in, you're gonna see some uh, some people reacting to stuff, you're gonna see some people reminiscing about stuff. This is not just me talking at the camera right now, but I do wanna, I do wanna express some things about Battle Universe before we get into that. And, you know, what the biggest reason is why. Why is Battle Universe being canceled? Um, I think, you know, with with the start of this whole pandemic, it was, it was really tough. I mean, Battle Universe had to go on hiatus immediately, naturally, because Battle Universe is one of those channels that you kind of need to be in the studio to film. I mean, all of our channels are mainly like that. We tried to get away with quarantine content, but it just didn't work that well. But Battle Universe very specifically was like, no, you can't be with people. You can't be playing with people. You can't be sharing items, sharing clothes, sharing masks. And I think there was a point where we started to realize like a month in that, you know, new normal, that new normal doesn't have Battle Universe in it. And that made us sad. That made us really sad because, you know, as we go back into the studio soon, it's gonna be crazy circumstances. There's gonna be very few people allowed to go back. We're gonna have to be six feet apart with masks and Purelling all the time and taking our temperature. So we need to figure out how to adapt as a company. We need to figure out how to still make content that we're proud of within these new restrictions, within this new normal. And sadly, Battle Universe is not a part of that anymore. And that breaks my heart. We've had so many great times on Battle Universe and honestly, Here's some of that. Here's some of us, you know, talking about it. Hold on to your seats. This is gonna be a wild ride. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Hi5 Studios. Anything here is Hi5 Universe. What's going on, everybody? My name is Brian. What's up, guys? My name is Jay Fred. I was one of the OGs of this channel. So I started on BU at the very inception of the channel. Way back before it was even called Battle Universe, when it was Hi5 Universe. It's not behind the scenes, it's its own thing. Oh! oh. oh. Dude, are you okay? Come on, dude. Brian's always taking it way too far, dude. Always aiming for the eyes. What we were planning on doing was just starting a vlog channel of everything that was going on at the studio. We take our job very seriously. The plans were that Michael Badal, best friend, would run Googly Eyes, High Five Universe, and I think simultaneously, Team Edge Games. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Mike Badal, and uh, I helped start Battle Universe. He started up High Five Universe, and yeah, it was just supposed to follow us around and and like see our day-to-day our -day life at the office. I've been in this box for the last 30 years. Amateurs, man, and I'm just going along with it. Meet Kevin. He's going to be your tour guide for the remainder of the channel's life. Hey guys, it's Kevin. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all to all the love and support you've given us throughout the years. Kevin has risen to such a high level in High Five and just completely blown my socks off. So we're here at Lowe's and we ran into a viewer of ours. What up, Connor? Say hello, Connor. What up? What's up, Connor? Oh, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? I was one of the, not one of the starters, but I was one of the first people that they kind of like hired on besides Gunner to essentially work there at High Five Studios as a production assistant, so. Hello. And welcome. Oh, welcome to better than that. Oh, you know, this is the intro? This is the intro. Hello, and welcome to High Five Universe. But wait, why are you talking all sexy like that? Right. Come on, now. Whoa. we got guys Welcome watching to high too. Five universe. That's even sexier, Connor. How was that sexier? Well, at least look at the camera when you do it. You're not even looking at the camera when you're doing it. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to High Five. <laughs> Keep going, Connor. This is funny. Hi. Welcome to High Five Universe. Welcome to High Five Universe. I know. I don't know how to Be yourself. Come on, man. See, look at me. It was literally my very first day. It wasn't even Battle Universe, it was High Five Universe. Hey, Matt, who do you think will do a better intro? Paul, probably. Hello everybody, <laughs> welcome to High Five Vlog, right? Universe. High Five Studios Vlog. Universe. Orange Base was my favorite saga of Battle Universe. It was a hybrid of vlog slash nerf challenge. We were trying out different things like crafts, experiments, trying foods. Oh my gosh. Deep fry 
grilled cheese sandwiches. Mike just wanted to deep fry everything. We did deep fried Twinkies, we did deep fried Oreos, and I was just like, I can't keep up with this. I can't eat this. Oh, you know what it smells like? It smells like a heart attack. Anything to do with food, I was always down to do. So we went through a lot of, a lot of different things until we really started having a lot of fun with Nerf. And that just really stuck. And I remember like being like, well, this is the most fun that we're having and it's the easiest to do. And perchance it's getting the most amount of views. So like, why don't we just do Nerf? That became our job was to, was to play Nerf. I get to get paid to have Nerf battles once or twice a week. I'm in. When I first started as talent on Battle yeah, Universe, I really that. had no idea what I was getting myself into. I had heard about the job through a friend who had already worked there, and I just could not fathom that there was a job where you just got to play with Nerf guns. That just did not make sense to me. After my first Nerf battle, Matt told me to pick up bullets because that was my job. And, you know, it all took off from there. What's up guys and welcome to battle universe battle universe battle universe battle universe hello and welcome to battle universe where we have battles across the universe mike as the game master that was that was kooky he was a great host a centerpiece for the story and then we were all just there helping him out he would just giggle in the background he was just such a jovial dude i thought it was awesome having that like the middle ground that never played fair we have the wolverine challenge wearing a referee jersey a gladiator cape and a king's hat is the most odd thing you can think of but my run at the game master was really fun i had a good time <laughs> a really good time he was just gonna do the, the arnold accent no matter what everyone's like stop and he's like never we are going to commence now whenever the haters were writing in the comments about the arnold voice part of me kind of enjoyed it <laughs> <laughs> My name is Tanner Momadal. I started on BU right after a transition from High Five Universe into Battle Universe. I just kind of like hit it off with everyone, except for Paul. Paul and I, which is crazy because now we're like best bros, but when we first started, Paul, I don't know, I think he didn't like me. This has been public forever. I hated Tanner when we first hired him. I didn't like him. That's only just to find out that I didn't like him because he were too much alike. <laughs> So where did the, the, the name Battle Universe come from? We were all sitting around the Orange Base conference table at the time, like downstairs, and we were like, well, what can we name it instead of High Five Universe? What can we name it instead of High Five Universe? And Connor, like always, is just like, don't overthink it, Battle Universe. And I was like, I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's do that. And that name stuck. And honestly, it's still sticking because this isn't the end of Battle Universe, or at least the name. I'll tell you more about that later. Early Nerf challenges. Wow. All the costumes and stuff. Man, I can't even tell you how much I've sweat and dripped because of those costumes we put on. Daddy, don't cheat. Stop. That's cheat. why mom left us, because you <laughs> cheat. Because <laughs> you're a cheater. We had to make everything fit within this small orange base space. It was our first unit, but to this day, it's our smallest unit as well. At the time we were moving to blue base, we purchased like two new units. These units were, well, they were kind of, you know, specifically for Battle Universe. Today is a very exciting day because we are filming our very first battle in the new blue base. Check it out. Oh. Woo! So when we moved to Blue Base, it was big. It was really, really big to understand that the space that we were going into was going to be a lot bigger and had a lot more opportunity for us to uh, expand. Not using the best six, more. ice skating move. Six, He's not doing the ice skating. Six, Stop it! That's sad. <laughs> it just gave us a lot of opportunity to do new things. And I remember Blue Base was the ugliest barren wasteland early days. It was known as the prison cell because it was just flat white walls. There was like nothing in it, and I mean nothing other than like six cubicles. It was just a bunch of office space with nobody in it because that's before really it was just a small skeleton group. But yeah, when we first moved into Blue Base, it was empty. I started as a PA. I was setting up a lot of the shoots. When I first got hired, it was just a small, small production in Blue Base. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of set. We just had a small amount of Nerf guns on the floor. I think other people were transitioning into other parts of their lives in the same process too. It was just a weird little bit of a weird transition but you know it happens and that's part of life i ended up taking the position of mixing the audio for literally all of the channels at high five as well as making the music and that's where like the theme song started to come in i don't like seeing people blaming other people for cheating we all cheat it's half the fun so as i count down he will start once i get to one or the end of one oh, so he will go 
You licked my hand? <laughs> Thank you, young man. As time went on, the old challenges and stuff got a lot better. They improved. And then we started like building beautiful sets and we had like more people come on the team and it was pretty dope. I definitely remember the season where we just really wanted to amp up production and go like full costumes, these crazy sets. We hired new producers. For me, when we kind of transitioned from let's just shoot Nerf guns at each other to having a script behind the story and everything, that's where I kind of fell off of the channel, unfortunately. I think one thing that we learned that we didn't like was scripting our videos, and I still don't like that. And the audience was just too smart for that. They saw right through it. We just didn't like doing all fiction stuff. It just like, it was like just skewing way, way younger than where we wanted to be. Not my style, I get, I, I see how people like it. I see how, you know, kids love that, eat that up. Anyways, Battle Universe, we didn't want to do that. And so we kind of shifted. We shifted into doing other things, and we really hit a stride there with like the, the Nerf Fortnite challenge. Fortnite Battle Royale. Nerf. Okay, let's play. <laughs> stop. I actually stopped my hearing. Oh, concussion. <laughs> oh, it got like number two on trending and it also got like 10 million views. Purple scar, baby. With BU going viral, especially with the Nerf Fortnite stuff, that was kind of inherent and we knew that what we had was big. Highest viewed point in BU's history was definitely like the Fortnite, early Fortnite saga when we were banging out like a Fortnite video every now and then because we also had like D&D going. Those are some litty challenges, mad clickable. They were good. Battle Universe was at its peak. I think BU's peak at its time, I think I want to say it passed Matthias channel back in the day. We were at Ikea and Matt was mad because he found out that like a BU video was outperforming his Matthias video, something like that. It was crazy. Then as Battle Universe evolved, people kind of came in and out. We were left with CJ, the man, the dude that turned things around, that made these challenges way more fun. That was when things changed again. I was really excited to start filming again. Matt left it up to me to decide the direction of the channel. After I was in charge, we hired Christian and we hired Hannah and they helped me kind of direct the focus of the channel a little bit more. And, and we were starting to come up with new challenges and um, we made some amazing videos, some amazing props. My first impression of CJ was that he was a cocky little guy. <laughs> I think just something about his mannerism. I just thought he was cocky, but once I actually got to know him, I just realized he was a super down to earth, sweet guy. I assumed that he would think he was too cool for Nerf, but the dude took it so seriously. And that's what I loved about him is that he didn't care about looking like a nerd because <laughs> Nerf is dope and who cares? He is such a strong creative force in the studio and I'm just so happy to work with him. Yeah, and then, you know, me and Joey and Brian all slowly phased out. I had to hone my focus because I had way too much on my plate. Oh, just because we were all focusing on other channels. Connor and Paul and Tanner eventually pulled out as well. My schedule was very stretched. Yeah, I'm going to miss like doing the challenges and stuff like that, but it definitely freed up my schedule. Yeah, I just needed to put my energy elsewhere. And um, yeah, and that's just kind of like, that's that's what it takes, you know. After that point, um, I knew that we needed to do something. We wanted to take the channel a different direction, but we just didn't have a lot of manpower. There was a point in time where CJ was running the channel and I was pretty Pretty much the only other person working alongside him. Me and CJ were just tirelessly trying to brainstorm and collaborate to make Battle Universe into what it was at that time. Ironically enough, Wreck ended. I was really nervous about what was going to happen with the rest of that team, but I was really excited because I very quickly learned that they were going to be coming over to Battle Universe. We took Pat and Woods and Alex and we got a little more power. We absorbed a new family. We adopted three new sons. Sup, guys? My name's Patrick Jones. What's up, guys? I'm Woods. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Alex. When I moved over to BU, I was kind of scared that I was going to lose my passion to create. But throughout my time on the channel, I recognized that it was actually doing the exact opposite of that. Creating on BU is kind of like rekindled the passion that I thought I was going to lose. The team was huge. So there was a lot to do to get in symbiotic like rhythm and everything. It took us a moment to grow the chemistry between all of us and to organize who's doing what. That was really uh, just a big team effort. All of us coming together and focusing in on what we needed to do. My main focus was all the background and analytical stuff. Logging analytics, doing the upload. There were times where I edited videos, but a lot of it came with just giving notes to Alex, our main video editor. I was mainly focused in on set design and prop builds. I just kind of became Woods' protege. I was trying to build my confidence 
confidence with tools and, and doing bigger artistic projects. We didn't want to just come in and be the B versions or the C versions of Matt, Joey, and Brian. We wanted to be something different. I'm Woods! I'm Sam! I'm Catherine! I'm Hannah! I'm Pat! <laughs> and I'm CJ! And welcome to Battle Universe! <laughs> such a fun, chaotic energy that Bye. I don't think has been there before. I can hide this, huh? You thought you could hide this? Back, Back away. away! I think it's the most authentic a lot of us have ever been on camera because we are truly just playing around with friends. You look like Best Buy right yeah. now. The types of videos that we come up with, the types of ideas that we pitch to each other were all things that we wanted to do. Every single person that helped with that channel made it what it is. <laughs> We started to experiment and do some different videos. And branch away from just, just nerf. Look at this action. Got it, I got, oh gosh! Oh, oh gosh! We tried board games, you know, just regular sports. He takes the ball, he yeah. snaps and falls. We all had these different visions for what the channel could be. And so the audience really got to watch as we experimented with these huge builds. It was awesome to really own the brand and to work as a team. Battle Universe isn't just some of the most fun I had at High Five, but also in my entire life. And that was the last phase of BU. One thing I'm always gonna take with me from Battle Universe is that it was just the epitome of play. It helped me bring my inner child out. As we grow up, we can kind of lose that sense of childlike wonder and we forget how important play is. Having those childlike dreams is important. It was fond memories and I loved connecting with all you guys. Yeah, I'll never forget all like the, the friendships I've made out of BU. Like I wouldn't be, if it was like after, from that first video, I don't think I would be as close with everyone as I am now. If I didn't have that first like breakout, like bonding, I think experience with everyone. I couldn't be prouder to be part of such a passionate group of people who wanted to create something super fun and creative. Even like the before shoot interactions with everybody, I think was some of my favorite. Cause like you might be able to see someone that you don't normally see on your day to day at high five and being able to hang out with them before the shoot I think was like one of my favorite parts there was always just so many jokes just getting tossed around before the shoot even started one of the things that I'll always remember is honestly just the fun the camaraderie the competition that was probably one of my favorite parts I'm really gonna miss Battle Universe that's for sure I'm just so thankful for everyone who never gave up and who kept the imagination and the creativity alive it's what made Battle Universe so special and made it a channel that was running for so long Battle Universe you had a great run you were one of my four babies at uh, High Five Studios. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to entertain you guys and to just be a part of something special. You know, this journey has been awesome. I could go on and on, you guys, but for this video, I just want to say thank you to the cast and the crew and everyone that's helped this channel. It's seen a lot of days, it's seen a lot of phases. I was there for a lot of them. Battle Universe is never, never gonna be not Battle Universe. It's always gonna stay on the internet. It's always gonna stay in my heart. It's always gonna be a part of us. And for that, I can really never look at this as a loss, but rather than, a uh, step forward. The entire team of Battle Universe, everyone got to keep their jobs, yay! And everyone's moving over to my channel. So that's where you're gonna be able to see most people that were on Battle Universe, which is pretty dope, because uh, we're gonna be, you know, continuing to make some really awesome things. But how is Battle Universe going to live on? Well, I'm writing a book. Some of you know this, a lot of you don't. I'm writing a book, a book series called Battle Universe. Really has nothing to do with the channel. I just love that name and it has to do with like battling across planets and stuff like that. So it's like, it's similar to what we were trying to do on the YouTube channel Battle Universe, but mine's like pure fiction. It's like Star Wars meets Harry Potter, meets Hunger Games, meets Ender Games, meets The Matrix, meets... <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, if you want to follow my writing progress, I might actually release some short stories to get some people into the world early. Uh, you can follow that on battleuniverse.co or battleuniverse.com if that link is up already. So this is not the end of the heart of Battle Universe. It will live on. All right. I'll catch you guys later. Battle on. Battle on. Battle on. Battle on. Battle on. Battle on. Battle on, guys. Battle on. Battle on. Battle on. Battle on. Battle on, friends. Battle on. It's not behind the scenes. It's its own thing. Once I get to one, or the end of one, oh, so so we will go. <laughs> yes! Okay! <laughs> Hit me up Maybe later, dog. Are, yeah. <laughs> what about it? What are you doing? Hey, Matt! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa!
What? What? <laughs> what? Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> Time to go get me some juggernauts. Why does he gotta feed me? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So it's your fault. Yes, yeah, you're trying to hop. Ah, that's hot. All right. Oh, that kind of hurts. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Hello and welcome to Battle Universe, where we have battles across the universe. Here we have Daddy. Are you peasants ready? Get up. Oh, thank you. Click that red. Click that. Click that red button. <laughs> Shut up. Okay. Jaybird's hair looks good. I'm about to go twinkle toes on your booty. Ew. Guys, <laughs> 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 I have to no, take no, no. the flamingo toss. <laughs> Kevin. What? Stop. Say it again. <laughs> Oh, no. Bro, you literally just spilled it. No. Ah. Do you guys want to invite the crybaby? Absolutely not. Yeah, I kind of feel bad. Oh! oh. oh. He just got oh, new. Oh, crap. Are you all right? Oh, my, oh, my gosh. Oh. Banana chop. Ah. Spoon me. <laughs> yeah, Paul, fix your hair. Oh! The back shot to tranquilize you. Pop, 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 Go down. These pockets. Oh, I scared myself. Oh, ow! Right? Oh, it's my toss. That's a great transaction thing. They're all crushed. Welcome to Battle Universe. Ah, no! no. <laughs> I'm loving it. Ah. The prisoner is kid. Ah. It's a I'm not the prisoner. Forget measure. Yee yee. Oh. Oh. Misfire. Stop doing that, it's distracting me. Because it's so beautiful. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he is God in this game. Starting now. That was loud. What's up, bro? <laughs> Down with the hunters. <laughs> Gotta dig it, dig it, dig it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, gosh! <laughs> I haven't found anyone, but this is fine. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing with this content? <laughs> Battle Universe. <laughs> Did you see that dog? Are you the Colonel? Uh oh. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> too low, bro, too low. You can write your number down later. Yes, yes, uh, of course. Oh, oh, no! no. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. No. okay. Zing! Did it, wait, was that? <laughs> okay, <right>. game on! So you know that hit me right in the face. Oh. She blocked you, bro. Why are you taking <laughs> so long? Stop! Oh, shot count. Oh! That was supposed to be a dolphin. <laughs> no! No! I was about to say secret hand shank. Secret hand shank. Okay, he caught that it said shank. <laughs> Brilliant play! Ah!